Howdy everyone, Farmer Mint here. Welcome to Oregon Springs for this Ropa DLC review, if you want to call it that. Um, what we have here is the new pack out today. Some pretty interesting stuff on here, and B and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with sugar beets. I thought I would uh, check this stuff out. Some of this stuff, um, well this thing we did see um, previously, before the release of the DLC. But let's take a look. Uh, well, first of all, let's do that. Um, Ropa. Ropa is a pretty cool company. Uh, they have become worldwide now. Um, in several different countries, they provide um, farm machinery. Um, let's just stop that there. I'm kind of getting... Um, I think Ropa started in 1972 by a gentleman who um, designed and built his own self-propelled sugar beet harvester um, for the sugar beets. Sugar beet is kind of a really cool crop, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. Um, it's grown in several countries. Um, Russia, for example, is the largest producer of sugar beet in the world, followed by China, uh, the United States, a bunch of other places, including even the UK. Uh, here in the United States, Eight states, I believe, um, produce sugar beets. Uh, my state uh, is the largest producer of, of uh, sugar beets in the United States. Uh, I think we produce about 39% of the sugar beets in the United States. Um, Oregon, where we are now, is a perfect location for sugar beets because not only do they harvest the sugar beet, but they are the, uh, the state that um, produces the sugar beet seed. Sugar beet's an interesting crop. Sugar beet is a biennial crop, meaning its first year of its life it produces the taproot, which we harvest for sugar, and the second year it actually flowers and will produce seed, which is then harvested to make seed for um, farmers to plant the next year. So all the big um, beta seed, crystal beet seed, seed X, um, Hillishog, all the major seed manufacturers that produce sugar beet seed have big facilities there in Oregon where they um, they manufacture the beet seed. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. A um, little bit of history on that. Uh, I kind of have a love-hate relationship, like I said, with sugar beets, so um, I maybe go on a little bit too far. But let's take a look at what Ropa, um, the Bavarian, Bavarian company, I believe Ropa, yeah. The pack includes. It includes these four items along with the header and the trailer. I'm going to go through each one individually, but just to see what the pack includes. Um, the potato harvester. This, um, I'm assuming it's moss. Mouse? Moss? I don't know. Um, that is a sugar beet collector picking them off the ground. The Nawaru mouse. I'm going to pronounce all these wrong. I'm sorry. I'm not. Um, I don't have any Bavarian in me. Uh, this thing will pick up certain items off the ground. The Tiger 6 XL, which is the big, the big one, um, which is in real life is produced in either an eight row or nine row lifter. The one in game I did count is nine rows. The header that goes on with it, which would be the nine row header, and the header trailer. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at this thing first. Uh, we have seen this before. Um, an all-in-one, an all-in-one unit. You have the uh, defoliator in the front with the lifting wheels behind that. The machine picks up the beats. Beats. Excuse me, I got another bug in my darn throat. Um, has a beat cart and then an unloading arm. So if we look at it, oops, now why did I click that off? Uh, now I want to go back. There you go. Tiger 6 XL, 499,000. Uh, has 768 horsepower. It's a big boy. Um, has a cruising speed of 24. Has a 43,000 liter capacity tank. Um, and it's good for sugar beets. So that's pretty much about it. I know the one that we demoed, which is this one, um, God, I think it's about a couple years ago, um, was around 700,000 for a price on that. So these prices are significantly less compared to what they they really are. Um, yeah, they're, they're a fun thing to drive and I was fortunate enough to be able to participate in the demo and do that. Um, our soil conditions, they don't work real well. Um, you know, we start our sugar beet harvest in the first of October and uh, we can have a wet month 
So these things got stuck a lot, and then with our soil conditions, they kept plugging up with, um, well, you want to call it mud, yeah, plugging up, and it wouldn't lift right, so we had all kinds of problems. But when you go around the outside, it's a very intricate looking machine i mean it's it's complex it's detail you have a bunch of electrical work you've got a bunch of hydraulic cylinders you got pumps you got motors you have a pivoting front axle here which can be locked and unlocked um plus you have the huge grain grain tank grain carts if you want to call it um 700 and what 60 horsepower motor in the back you have turnable axles i mean this thing is, this thing is quite the quite the thing um the defoliator what they call it which is the front part here um or we call it a rotabeater basically what it is is it's a drum this piece right here that has these flails on it and they can either be rubber or metal uh, and they'll beat around and take off all the vegetation on the sugar beet just to leave the beet and then behind that you have the lift the set of lifting wheels right here so this is one row so the beet will be picked up by those lifting wheels and if you count it along there's nine nine of them here this is a nine row beet lifter the other cool thing on the front of it just for the added detail it has no in-game function but this would be what they would call a row finder so the row of beets is going to go in between these fingers and what that's going to do is if it gets off a little bit each time it the beet clicks the outside of these fingers it'll sense that into the computer of the of the harvester and the harvester once you put it on gps auto steering will automatically go down the field guided by those two things so you're never going to go off roll because when you harvest sugar beets you have to follow the rolls it's not like a combine where you can go any which direction so that's pretty that's pretty cool how that works to keep each lifting wheel on the roll same thing with a with a corn header you know a corn header you have to put the snouts down the uh, row of the corn you can't just make circles and go whichever way you want it would never work so yeah so let's take a look at it hop inside cozy inside nice interior rope on the back seat uh, you do have some cameras i'm assuming this one here is an aerial camera this one here would be a backup camera it's you know be cool if those things actually worked um that there's a static picture but yeah it's a neat thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on my um, help menu so i can show you the options so basically what you have is you can lower and raise the front header you can actually even fold it up and we'll demonstrate that when we do the uh, header trailer later so that would fold up um l1 and down is it l1 and I thought, well, I gotta hit the hit the tractor. L1 and down is pipe out. That would be well, it's not a pipe. That would be your unloading arm, if you'd want to call it, uh, which can be lower and raised, and it doesn't even pivot there on the end. So that's pretty cool. Depending on um, you know how tall your trailer is, or if you're going on the <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. If you're piling on the ground, you know you can. Uh, do whatever there so that's pretty cool yeah I know it's finicky when you use the right mouse to get it but there you go you get the idea of it okay so that's it with that uh, yeah so it is just going to pick up the beats no need to do the tops no nothing it's an all-in-one thing um, I should show this just out of curiosity I'm kind of wondering if it works myself if you started it up, I'm wondering if you can unload on the go. Let's see. Unload here. It's unloading. Yeah. So you can harvest and unload at the same time and then come around and pick it up. There is nothing wrong with putting sugar beets on the ground. We stockpile them in big piles um, and they are there from October to May. So it's not going to hurt them. Get real technical, you can never pile up when it gets too cold, way below freezing, or it gets way too warm, they could spoil the pile. But yeah, sugar beets can be piled plenty of times on the outside. So that's kind of that's kind of it. And with with the with the uh, the Tiger 6 XL, 
pretty sim pretty well I should say it's a simple machine but uh, pretty simple to operate in this game it's pretty cool um, nice oh I should demonstrate the uh, the uh, steering thing because um, you can you can turn steering oops yeah so crab crab steering and crab steering right so let's just that's what it's gonna do it's gonna crab to the right all-wheel steering which basically locks the front cab of the of the uh, thing so it doesn't turn independently whereas in turn steering it unlocks the front cab so that's pretty cool then you have that's this R1 and then the L3 button yeah crab steering right crab steering left so that is pretty cool just to show you that but that's basically about it um, you know decal looks nice everything is clean everything is crisp flashing beacons warning stickers on the back you know it's all there we've all seen it before okay the newer I shouldn't say the newer one they all came out of the pack but this one the Ropa Moss is pretty cool um, what this is in the store would be this one, the Ropa Moss 5. It's 369,000. Um, has a cruising speed of 24 miles per hour. Has a working width of 10.2 meters. This is going to pick up the sugar beets off the ground. So basically the starter up, L1 unfold machine. So the front auger, if you want to call that, unfolds. The back has a big arm with a counterweight to unload on a trailer. Okay, let's start with the back. So you can move this around by L1 and the right. You can go back and forth and you can go up and down. Okay, um, R1 and that will move the whole back piece as well. Okay. Now there is a way, and if we go to um, change control group, R3, then you can move the front part here. I think that has to be lowered though. Yep. See, and then you can change this, go side to side, up and down, and it would pivot out. So this would allow you to um, uh, you know pick a pile and scoop it in towards you if you wanted to so that's pretty cool I don't see a lot of use for that one but it's there it's there so basically all you do is you just um, let's say I gotta make sure I change oops that's my map I don't want that let's see change okay pipe now we're back to pipe Oops, I turned it on. Fired up. Okay, the auger starts spinning. The collection, actually, they're really um, rollers. They really would, well, I suppose not really augers, but rollers. Um, that's just going to pick up the pile. Why aren't you pick? There you go. Picking up the pile. There is a a capacity that it can store inside the machine until it fills the belt but then after that it will empty into the trailer so there you go uh, this is a little you know it's it, it, it's it's not a fast moving machine you're not going to go to a pile and just completely pick it up I will also point out that if you wanted to um, you can unload here, so you don't need a trailer to tip it. But yeah, it'll keep going. Okay. Unload here. I want to empty it out. I want to show you one other thing. Now, I thought this was kind of cool. <laughs> you got the guy up in the cab here. Now, when you fold up the machine, I'll turn it off, and you fold up the machine, watch it. Sometime there. Come on. He 
he, when he gets to the front, he will spin around in his seat. The cap comes down to the bottom, and he is ready to go. I, I just thought that was kind of cool. How <laughs> that all kind of works out. But yeah. So, apparently when they unload, they kind of sit sideways like this. And uh, kind of turn your head to turn your head to drive in the cab. It's kind of the same thing. Pretty cool cab. Like I said, I wish the monitors were were working and not just staticky. But you know, that's okay. So yeah, no, pretty cool machine. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. So that's that one. Pretty cool. I can't wait to try to check one out and use it. Um, it should be interesting, that's for sure. Um, you know, because if you if you were a big, you know, like this map, for example, is a good sugar beet map just because of Oregon and reality, and also, you know, because of the climate. So you could, st you know, do a sugar beet harvest and just pile them on the ground, and when the price goes up or a great demand, you have one of these things and pick them up. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The next thing we'll do is, I think we'll go over and we'll look at the um, header and the trailer. That's kind of a neat too um, as well. So I will see you there in a second. Okay, what we have here is it's another one with the header on it. And this is the header trailer. I should also point out that with this thing, there are no upgrades. With the MOS 5, there are no upgrades as well. Um, there are no upgrades with the header. Or the trailer. Matter of fact, I think even this one. Nope, no upgrades. Potato. Nope, no upgrades. So there's no upgrades on any of these machines. Um, but this is the header trailer. Um, it is an A-frame swivel front axle, which some people don't like, but it's pretty cool. Um, beacon on the back, you know, with the the uh, mud flaps and and everything else. Nice lights good decals it, it, it looks it looks pretty cool and there are some animations on this thing which is actually pretty neat and I'll show you so if you were to use this you just hop into the lifter just make sure your header is selected and you have to fold it roll finders come up the rotobeater part comes up yeah that gives you a better a better look at it yeah there's the rotobeater drum up there these are the lifting wheels and you know and they're pretty they're pretty accurate to the way they actually really look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine roll. Okay. And then you would have to try to get it centered as you can. If it's not centered, it's still going to go on there and you're going to have no trouble. But if you are a realist and uh, want to be kind of precise, you would try to get centered. So if you look, this arm here kind of attaches on to this latch, so to speak. And when you unhook it, there's animation here that this arm goes up and locks. So if you are to look at the other side, you see I'm pretty close. I'm just a hair bit off, but it's still going to work. So then you would just um, unhook the trailer, and when you do that, that arm comes up. I don't know if you saw that. See that an animation there? To kind of lock it in place. Yep, pretty cool. There you go. It's unhooked. The other neat thing about it is you have a hitch on the back of the new lifter so you can hook it up and you can go cruising down the road. There you go. Pretty cool. Well, that's that header trailer and the header. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah, see, I, I just, I love, I like the detail of it, you know. I mean, even the animations on the trailer is actually pretty cool. So, there you go. There you have it. Pretty neat. We will go on to the potato harvester next. Okay, here we are on the potato harvester. Let's look in the store real quick. It is, the, I was on it, the Ropa Kyler Keller Keeler 2. 120,000 it will cost you. Um, you need a tractor of 150 horsepower to operate. It has a 10,000 capacity, I don't know, basket hopper. Um, working width of 2 meters, and it is 6 miles per hour. 
Now, it's very similar to the Grimmy. Um, I was hoping it was different. The only difference is you do not need a topper to operate this thing. Okay, so this is all in one thing. Um, basically, this would be like a two roll. So you're going to do two rolls of potatoes at a time. I think just with this game and its triggers, sometimes it does three. But that's basically what it is. Top the beats, they come up all these potato chains into the hopper and the um, unloading basket. Oh, an unloading auger will empty it. There are some cool functions on this thing. Um, what else can we say about it? I think that's pretty much it. It's, it, it's a cool machine. Um, you know, I, I, I like it. Start it up. You do have... Well, now I have it full. Um, let's see. Let's just back up here and I'll unload it. Right there. There are some um, choices here. You do have, let's see, is it? Yeah, right here. You can move the bat, the unloading. I call it a little basket. I don't. It looks like a little basket. Up and down, depending on the height of your trailer, I suppose. So that's kind of neat. Um, I thought it went. Nope, just up and down. Okay. I guess that's it. Yeah. So once it gets unloaded, I'll show you here. Okay, um, pipe in, it folds up, kind of like that, so when you unfold it, just kind of um, pivots out, the pipe you can put in like that, so that's, that's pretty neat if you want to do that, other than that, that's pretty much it with it, um, like I said, you don't need a, a uh, topper first, so you can set it off. If you look, there's some animations here that kind of come up and down. That's kind of cool. It will pick up the beets. Or the beets. It will pick up the potatoes. Like I said, you have a 10,000 capacity in the basket. I like the, uh, the belting here on the unloading arm. I like that. You know, it's another option for you. Very similar, but yet you don't have to top them first. So, yeah. Just make sure that you have narrow tires or on the case these um, these uh, narrow twin wheels so you don't wreck the potatoes with crop destruction on. So, yeah, they kind of pick up through there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, neat little piece of machinery. But that's it. That's pretty much it. So, we'll go to the last thing, which I think is um, really cool. Okay, here we are at the last uh, piece of equipment on the Ropa pack. This is the Ropa Nawaru, Nawa, Nawaru Moss, Mouse, 328,000. Um, 350 horsepower machine, has a cruising speed of 24 miles per hour. A width of eight meters to work with and it will pick up the products on the bottom wheat barley canola sunflowers soybeans corn is that fertilizer and what's the other I'm having a brain freeze it's not pig food what is it fertilizer and I can't think but it's on the bottom um, power food uh, chaff wood chips and silage so that's what this machine is going to pick up. If we unfold it, it's basically the same concept as the um, the sugar beet. What's what's that one? The the Moss Five. Yeah, basically the same thing except a different kind of header on the front. Um, the back arms work the same, so you can turn them with L1 and the the R pad back and forth, up and down. Um, R1 and that will swing it around like that. Um, there is change. Oh yeah, you can. Whoops, wrong button. I'm sorry about that. Now that goes to the arm. So you can lift and lower that. Um, is that all it does? Is lift and lower? Lift and lower. 
Yep. Lift and lower that. So that's basically what that does. Um, inside, pretty same kind of cab um, as the other one. Pretty neat. Looks clean. Looks crisp. So yeah. So let's start it up. I think I have to go back to the pipe. They call that the pipe. So what you're going to do is you can lower it. Turn it on. And let's say you want to pick up this barley here. I don't know why you'd have barley on the ground, but maybe you have it inside of a storage facility. Yep. And it will keep going until it reaches the end of the conveyor, and then it'll stop picking up. Yep. Now, you can swing it over a trailer, and it will unload. I suppose I don't have my... Uh, let me just move my um, tractor ahead here a little bit. But basically, you're you're getting the gist of it. You're getting the concept. Um, oops, me a little bit too far. There we go. Whoa! I almost got sucked in the machine. That's scary. But yeah, auger, little rotating wheel with some metal fingers on it. Um, you know, I can't imagine that this. You know, this has to do damage to some crops. Uh, crack the wheat, crack, crack corn. You know, I would imagine you would see some kind of damage to that. Um, but yeah, you just pick up your stuff. You can move your arm there. You can go up and down. So basically what you're doing. You know, pretty decent working speed. You know, I haven't floored. Gets a little bumpy there at the end. But good working speed. Um, interestingly enough, uh, it only works on that. I just when I started to combine in this field as an example to use it, it was set on a swath, so I thought I would just try it. No, it will not pick up um, straw. But here's some things. You know, I was thinking like, what are you going to use this for? You know, um, the silage bunkers. And if you are on a map with those wide silage bunkers, I mean, you could pick up silage and load it. I mean, you can almost swing, you can swing this thing, you know, all the way behind you there. So you have plenty of room to load a trailer. So that'd be interesting to try that on silage and see how fast that works. Those narrow bunkers, you're not gonna be able to do it. This header is too wide. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a neat machine. You know, like again, Good detail, you know, you get in close, look at this, you have all the uh, the chains for the pivoting arm, cylinders, hoses, um, you know, even the steps coming out got that kind of a great plate on it, you know, with this cap going up and down to the guy turning around, it's kind of neat, but uh, yeah. So that's that machine. That's pretty much, that's what the pack is. $7.99, uh, you know, take it or leave it. If it's something that you think that you would, uh, hey, that you would uh, use, then hey, go for it. I don't think this thing has any turning, turning controls. It doesn't say it does. No. So yeah, you know, and not bad speeds either, 24. So yeah. That's the rope pack. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful, maybe even a little entertaining. Hey, maybe even a little educational. Learn something about sugar beets today. But if you did give us a like, we'd appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we would appreciate you doing that as well. But from Oregon Springs, Bumper Minitalia, have yourself a great day and keep them between the ditches. So long.